So I've known these guys for a while. Um, some of you know them as well. Um, I'm just going to have them introduce themselves and their kids. So we're Luke and Lauren Smallcomb. We've been in Thailand for about two and a half years, and these are our four kids. Um, Nikki's almost 16 in a few weeks. Lucas is 11, Tess is 10, and Camden is seven. And yeah, we're excited to be at High Hope. All right, and um, so you've been in Thailand a couple of years, two years, right? Um, could you just give us like um, an update? Tell us, tell us what you do there. So I'm a counselor that uh, works at, the, at a counseling center in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Um, and um, something that we feel, uh, think is very important is to um, help people understand that missionaries are real people. Um, and Lauren does a lot of updates on Facebook and she made a hashtag called missionaries are real people. And because um, just like in America, when we're in our home country, we struggle, we're stressed. Uh, we get anxious, depressed, burnt out. Um, missionaries do the same thing. Uh, and, and they're in a different country, learning a different language and a different culture. And a lot of times they don't have a lot of support. They're kind of um, alone. And so um, at the Well International, it's the counseling center I work at, we serve missionaries that are um, struggling, um, that are trying to share the gospel and love people in different countries. Um, I have served missionaries from 14 different countries um, and um, we're constantly full there. So it's a huge need um, addressing a variety of different issues um, from depression, anxiety, spiritual burnout, um, emotional burnout, addictions, um, parenting and marital issues. And so a variety of different issues that um, we've seen and, and have been able to help them um, support them so that they can go back to their their field and continue serving. Um, and Lauren, uh, she's a registered nurse and has a certi certification in nutritional therapy. And she addresses the physical needs as I'm addressing the emotional and spiritual needs. Um, she supports them physically as missionaries um, believe the lie that they are superhuman. And so they, they don't always uh, rest, uh, take care of themselves. Um, eat what they should, um, sleep like they should, and so they, um, and all the stress of living overseas, um, your body starts to break down, and so she helps them uh, problem solve and troubleshoot how to support their body and address some of the physical um, issues so that they can also stay on the field. Thanks. So just thinking of the physical part, I talked to you guys about uh, a little bit about language learning, right? Remember. We we're talking about their kids and schooling and, and just how language learning is. So I found out a pretty cool thing about who the best language learner so far in the family is. You might be surprised. So who is the best? I wish I could say me, but it's actually Tessa. <laughs> Tessa is uh, very gifted linguistically. They can all understand and speak at different levels, but Tessa has definitely surpassed all of us quickly. Can you, can you give us a little example? We could give, her, give you a little example. So uh, Lauren and Tessa will talk, and I'll translate. Hi, Tessa. How are you doing? Hi, Tessa. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Do you like your mom and dad? <laughs> yes, I do. Mm. Uh, top. What kind of food do you like to eat? Thai. Thai food. Arai. <laughs> what type? Khao niang. Uh, sticky rice. Mm, arai ma. Khao niang gap ma muang mai ka. Uh, that's uh, very delicious. Do you like sticky rice with mango? <laughs> yes, it's very delicious. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. So yeah, so you understood before you translated what they're saying, right? Uh, um, one last thing, like, um, so as a church, um, how can we better support you? How can we be praying for you? You know, that, yeah, bring us up to date on that. So um, living overseas, we feel like we've been uh, semi-successful. But we also feel like it's been really, really hard. 
Um, so if you want to grab our prayer card and um, when you think of our family, just praying that God continues to sustain us and that we can have a strong family um, because we don't want to serve out of an empty place. We want to serve from a place of health and fullness um, as a family. And that's not always easy in those circumstances. Um, so that's a huge prayer need. In school, actually, uh, school we kind of take for granted. In the West, we have easy access to public school, private school, but there it's been really challenging. So we are looking for new schooling options. They've all been in Thai school, um, which they've done well in, but now they're getting behind in English, and they need to know um, the English language because they're American. So. We're looking for a new school option, and that's been um, really stressful, but we're praying that God will provide a way for that. And we're also looking for new support um, supporters for our partnering team because we are fully supported missionaries. He works as a counselor full-time, but he doesn't get paid by the center. All of the people who work there are supported from their churches back home, their friends and family. Um, so that way that they can use the funds for the Thai staff and for the building and keep the counseling costs really low for the missionaries. So we are actually um, looking for new supporters so that we can go back and continue our ministry. And if you're interested in hearing more about our ministry, this is like just a few minutes if you want to hear more about it. We um, are living in Corning right now for the next like three weeks and we will have a few like get togethers, a few want to come to open house to hear more about our ministry that would be great thank you yeah so if, if the lord's landed on your heart if you just you know want more information if you're thinking man i could i could support them in something i wonder how you do that um, come out see their table uh, talk to them ask them they're awesome they're great people easy to talk to as you can tell so